Hello and welcome to this week's video blog from spiderworking.com. Today I'm just going to be talking about two types of lists that you can make on Hootsuite.com. Now Hootsuite is the Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn client that I recommend to all my customers. If you don't have an account already, I highly recommend it. Um, if you go to www.hootsuite.com, it's quite easy to set up. So there's two types of lists you can make in Hootsuite. Uh, one that integrates with the Twitter list that I mentioned last week and the second one which is a list of the search terms that is constantly updated. So first, let's have a look at Twitter lists integrated into Hootsuite. So you can either add to an existing list or you can create a new list. The way to do this is go into the Add Column button on the right hand side of your dashboard. On the left hand side of this window, choose Twitter lists Choose a Twitter profile and you can choose an existing list or you can make a new one. I'm going to make a new one. Click create column. Then you go back to your dashboard. On the bottom left hand side of your dashboard, click people. From here, choose your Twitter profile and choose whether you want to look at the people that are already following you or the people that you're following. So I'm looking at the people I'm following. On the right hand side of each user's profile, you can click the cog. And in the drop down menu here, click add to list. Once you've finished adding users, you'll see that all the updates from those specific users appears on the new column that you created on your dashboard. And you can create this column anywhere. I've created it on the home page here, but you can create it on any one of your Twitter streams. The second type of list you can create, and one which is really valuable, is a search column or a search list on Hootsuite. Now this is very simple to do. Click into whichever account it is that you want to have this search column appear on. Again, I'm making this on the home page. Type in your search term, so I'm using Facebook. And a new window will open up with all the queries that relate to this search term. And at the bottom you'll see you can create a column by clicking a simple button. And the column appears permanently then on your Hootsuite dashboard. So it's very easy to retweet from here or reply to anyone that has any queries. Again, as with the Twitter monitoring, I'd recommend that you start set up a vanity one. So set up one for the name of your business and then for other things that you might be interested in. Like for me, Facebook, or if you're following people in a specific county, you could make a, a specific list for... Carlo Kildare Dublin. So that's it for this week. That's two ways you can create lists in Hootsuite and I'll see you again next week. Bye!